we take many things for granted in our life without examining the objective reality, isn't it? We are mostly on the mental autopilot mode, conform to the social norms and do what others are doing. For example, look at these pet bottles. These are meant to be disposable use and throw items. I travel in trains often, especially in the sleeper class, and I have seen hundreds of people repurposing these pet bottles as water bottles, you see. If you look at these bottles carefully, that is, if you turn back and look what is underneath, you will see a kind of a triangular symbol, you know, the three arrows, that is basically a recycle icon, right? And if you look at this recycle icon carefully, you will see a number embossed inside this recycle icon. So this number is what you call as resin identifier number, that is RIC, resin identifier code. For pet bottles like this, you will see number one. PET, that is P-E-T or P-E-T-E -E stands for Polyethylene Terephthalate Ester. Friends, P-E-T leaches out three dangerous chemicals. Do you know that? One, antimony, a dangerous carcinogenic substance that causes the cancer. In one well-known 2006 study published in Journal of Environmental Monitoring, authors from University of Heidelberg in Germany analyzed antimony contents of 63 well-known brands of bottled water in European Union and Canada, where, you know, the law enforcement is stringent for the public health and safety. What did they find? Antimony contents of the water marked in PET bottles were 100 times the concentration found in the typical groundwater which is around 2 PPT that is parts per trillion. They have also found that the longer the mineral water sits on the shelf, the more concentrate the antimony gets. Yet another study published in Journal of Water Research in 2008 by a team from the US, they analyzed nine mineral water brands from the US state of Arizona and they got just the same results. Have a look at this paper linked up in the description section of this video. Well, there are tons of such studies from Japan, Australia, New Zealand. See the description section below. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any similar studies from India. Other than antimony, what else the pet bottles leaches out? Second substance, phthalate. It's an EDC friend that is enzyme disrupting chemical. If you have watched one of my previous episodes, I have linked up on the above. I have deliberated what this EDC do to our health. I've detailed how EDCs disrupt our endocrine system and cause a host of diseases including PCOS, that is polycystic ovary syndrome, type 1 diabetes, thyroid diseases, osteoporosis, pituitary disorders, low sex drive, masculinization of the females, feminization of the males, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder that is ADHD in the children, infertility and so on. Pet bottle also leaches out third chemical called brominated compounds friends. Bromin is a non-central nervous system depressant. Consuming food stored in pet containers and bottles are linked to the depression and other neurological syndromes friends. Antimony, phthalates and bromin. Avoid pet bottles for the sake of our health, friends. These chemicals leach us out from the pet bottles much faster when the temperature is high. For instance, when the bottle is kept inside a parked car, you know, or when these pet bottles or pet, you know, the containers are in contact with oily substances like oily food. Not just soft drink or mineral water, the pet bottles are also commonly used in plastic containers of vegetable oil, pickles, jams, and so on. In India, we have no rules against the use of pet bottles for the packing food. But in many other developed countries, stringent rules exist. Just avoid pet, P-E-T or P-E-T and stop reusing pet bottles for the sake of our health. Many of my environmentally conscious friends recycle the pet bottles too and use it as a fridge bottle or the water bottle. Recycling is of course good for the planet, but it should not be at the cost of our own health. Well, ponder about it. Why to buy it in the first place? I just use steel water bottle like this. You know, these bottles are made in India. It's a Milton water bottle. This is just safe, absolutely safe to have it. Or certified BPA free Triton bottles like this. This is by Nalgene. You know, these bottles are absolutely fine. This is BPA free bottle. So, you know, I can reuse these bottles as well. So, well, you don't really have to go for a Triton bottle, but this, uh, you know, the steel bottles are absolutely safe. Then why to go for a pet bottle? So re recycling the old pet bottles, this will last for a lifetime. Storing solid food items like grains in pet containers is still safer. Just avoid liquid and oil like oily food substance in the pet, friends. Also beware of the delivery food in the plastic containers, especially in the pet containers. Hot and oily food 
not safe at all. Well, how about other plastic that is other RIC numbers? RIC number 3 is equally dangerous. It is PVC that is polyvinyl chloride. Perhaps you know the PVC pipes for the plumbing. Same stuff. PVC is known to leach out bisphenol A that is BPA, dioxins, phthalates, cadmium, lead, mercury and so on and therefore it is very dangerous. Well, as detailed in my previous video, the bisphenol A, that is BPA, is an important estrogen analog. You know, the structurally, it looks just like the female reproductive hormone, that is estrogen, and can cause infertility, cardiovascular system damage, increased risk of breast cancer and prostate cancer, and so on. You know, it is an EDC, and BPA is a very dangerous chemical, friends. Do you know the BPA is banned in many countries, most of the developed countries, as well as in many developing countries, including Brazil, Argentina, Philippines, Taiwan, China and Malaysia. Mind that in India, BPA is still not banned and you should act wisely. Dioxins are carcinogens, that is they are cancer causing chemicals. While heavy metals like lead, mercury and cadmium cause host of other health issues as well, especially low IQ. PVC is used in most of the household plastic materials in India. For example, containers, buckets, mugs, restaurant packing materials food wraps, toys and so on. The tradition of using plastic buckets for the drinking water disbursement, you know, in communal feasts, marriage feasts, etc. should be avoided by all cost friends. Also, don't consume water supplied through the PVC plumbing because this water is not meant for drinking. RIC number 6 is polystyrene. Friends, polystyrene leaches out dangerous carcinogen called styrene when hot or oily food items are poured inside. Have you seen disposable paper teacups like this? For example, if you travel in a train journey, these cups have a very thin layer of polystyrene inside friends and when you pour the hot liquid, for example, a hot tea, this polystyrene, you know, melts and leaches out the styrene, the cancer causing chemical and styrene gets into our system friends. Do you know that? Styrene is a well-known carcinogen and it causes a number of solid cancers, for example, pancreatic cancers. We should refrain from using any of the food or water contacted with the polystyrene surfaces by all means. From water bottle, let's go to the lunch box. Friends, when I was in school, I used to carry lunch in steel lunch box like this. Now that this steel lunch box is obsolete, out of fashion. These days, kids have colorful lunch box with adorable cartoon character prints, isn't it? These lunch boxes are examples of what German philosopher Jörg Heiger has popularized as Zeitgeist. The idea that the society consisted of a collective consciousness that moved in a distinct direction dictating the actions of its members. A related logical fallacy is called the group think, in which we tend to think the way our peers think and adapt to the cultures of our peers. Let's now turn back to see what is there inside this triangular recycle icon. It is number 7 that is polycarbonate. Friends, polycarbonate is one of the most dangerous plastic chemical just like the PVC. We should avoid using polycarbonate by all means as I explained in my previous video. Number 7 also means miscellaneous or all the rest that not only includes the polycarbonate but mixtures of various plastic that all are harmful friends but almost entire consumer products with number 7 marking is polycarbonate and it leaches out the chemical BPA, bisphenol A, the estrogen analog and it's very dangerous. Remember, BPA is not banned in India, so we have to act wisely. Our school-going children, the future of India, are slowly getting victimized because of this poor consumer choice, friends. These cheap lunch boxes and water bottles would cause numerous harms to their health when they grow up. Please, let us do a small favor to our children. Let us buy steel water bottles and steel old-fashioned lunch box to them because their health is the health of our nation on a long run. Also, please stop buying this cheap Chinese plastic lunch box and water bottles as a return gift in the birthday parties. As the aphorism goes, love your neighbors as yourself. Let us join our hands for a better world. Remember the mantra 1367, the most dangerous plastics. 1367. How about other plastics? Number 2 is high density polyethylene that is HDPE that leaches out a chemical called nonylphenol, a dangerous endocrine disruptor like BPA. HDPE is commonly found in grocery plastic bags, milk, 
and juice cartons and so on. This plastic is relatively safer for limited uses provided the food is not hot or oily. RIC number 4 is low density polyethylene that is LDPE. Like HDPE, it can release nonylphenol. LDPE is commonly used in the plastic milk pouches. You know those pasteurized milk that we have explained that in one of our previous video. As well as in toys, food wraps, tetra pack cartons, disposable cups and storage containers. RIC number 5 is polypropylene or PP that is used in most of the expensive plastic you know that is relatively safer you know you can see that PP in mostly you know the expensive and durable plastic containers so I recommend if you want to buy a plastic bottle for food storage purpose go for PP that is polypropylene that is number 5. But still mind that PP has been shown to be releasing plastic stabilizing substance oleamide into the food. Heated PP can also release chemicals that could induce asthma. So none of the plastic is safe friends. RIC number 5 and to a lesser extent number 4 as well are relatively safer plastics for a limited use when used with no hot or oily substances. Unfortunately, we have nothing that can be called as safe plastic because every kind of plastics are significantly dangerous than the alternatives. Perhaps you are left with no choice and you really have to buy a food storage container or a water bottle then remember the mantra 245. Resin identifier number 2, 4 and 5 are comparatively less dangerous than all other types of the plastics. Well, in summary, watch out for 1367. The types 1, 3, 6, 7 are the most dangerous plastics in the market. Please stay away from buying plastic lunch boxes and plastic water bottles for our children. We should gear our children, our posterity towards a new zeitgeist prioritizing their health and environment rather than senseless vanity fair. For we have only one life and one earth. All my videos are based on evidence-based, peer-reviewed scientific research. Look at the description section below. Hope this video has been useful to you. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, share it in relevant groups and subscribe to my channel. Stay fit, healthy and have a great day.